Let's see. Uh, P A L P L A Y S. Search. Top results. Pal plays. Seems like a good channel. Uh, playlist. Skyward Sword, the first LP he ever did. That was a good LP. Um, how many episodes was that, though? 39, 59, uh, 61, 62, 63, 65, 66. Huh. 66 episodes. Which means that no way. Did I pass that up and not realize it? Wow, okay. Uh, hey guys and gals, I'm Pal and welcome back to Okami. Last episode, we got a new weapon. Thank you for picking me up this time. We got a new weapon. Let's see, what was this called? Yeah, Eighth Wonder. It's awesome looking glaive. Uh, and this episode, I was about to, I was going to leave, leave Pongton when... I was curious, because I had mentioned how this LP was going to be longer than Skyward Sword, and for some reason I had it in my head that that LP was 68 episodes, but it was 66. Which means we surpassed it last episode, and I never realized. So... Snap. I, I kind of wasn't expecting that. I was expect expecting, like, next episode to be the one that we surpassed pass it, but no. Okay. Well, that's awesome. Um, this is the longest LP on this channel, officially now. That is insane. 60, what is it, 68 episodes? Yeah, this episode 68. <sighs> and you know what? The end is not in sight. We are, we are pretty far from the end still, so it's entirely possible that this Let's Play will, will meet 100 episodes. I doubt it will surpass it, but I, I believe that it will reach 100 episodes at the le at least. Hopefully. I kind of want to have a three-digit LP. That, that, that would feel really cool. So anyway, this episode, we're going to be going out of Pongton, since we're, we've are we taken care of everything that needed to be taken care of in this village, to talk to Isun, because we met his grandfather, and his grandfather put us up to the task of choosing the next Celestial Envoy, so they could travel with us, and we already have a travel companion, and having two just seems a bit excessive. So, let's go outside, check with Isun, see what he has to say. You done yet? What? It looks like you want to say something. The spirit gate? Are you telling me the Lika went through it? <laughs> You're easy as easy to read as a book. Well, I ain't going to go in there, either. It's nothing but trouble. If you have to go, ask that old man Ishako, Ishaku to be your guide. Isun, is that really you? Who's there? It's one of the Ponkles from the village. Isun, it's me, Mia. Hmm? Oh, Mia. So you've finally come home, and I bet you've become a real Celestial Envoy. Just like Grandpa Ishaku and everyone everyone knew you'd be. Oh! Wait. Oh, I never picked up on that. This... This girl is Isun's sister. Wow, I never picked up on that. Because she's calling him Grandpa Ishaku. Oh my word! He has a sister! But why won't you come into the village? Oh, I get it. You don't want to go see him, right? Put a cork in it. What? And what's with this Celestial Envoy business? Give me a break. What good would it do to become something like that? I'd rather live happy and carefree. I can't believe you'd say that. So, does that mean you don't paint anymore? We Punkles are supposed to help people believe in the gods. Otherwise, the gods will remain forever powerless, remember? I said, put a cork in it. If you like painting so much, go for it. But you can count me out. Go hawk your silly ideas and harebrained plans somewhere else. Isun. Go away. We're busy. We have urgent business beyond the spirit gate. What? Listen, I don't have time to help you with your boring old paintings. Let's get out of here, Ami. Isun, wait. I never picked up that she had a sister. 
Oh my word, let's talk to her again. Isun, are you really going for to the spirit gate? Are you trying to find a little Oina girl by any chance? Come on, Ami. We've wasted too much time here already. Let's go already. So, we leave Isun's sister and his grandfather behind. No mention of their parents. So I can only assume that Ishaku raised them both. Well, this is not how I'd, lo I'd like to see Isun and Mika part ways. Mika's your name, right? I just need to make sure. Mia, sorry. My, my apologies. Uh, yes, we are. No, 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 I'm not done with the... I'm done with... No, I don't. I'll pass. I'm trying to... I'm trying to do a thing. Let's go. Yeah, that's... That's not how, exactly how I'd have them, pa them part ways, but... We have urgent business to attend to at the Spirit Gate. Inner... Yosh Pet. You guys thought the, uh, the Forest of Confusion was done? That we had surpassed it and overcome it? No. There's still some, uh, some confusion to be had, and this actually looks identical to the first entrance, so I'm thinking- no, get up there. I'm thinking that maybe they would pull a secret- no, they're not, okay. I looked there last time, but it wasn't a thing. So yeah, this is exactly like the entrance. It's almost as if we've been transported back to the beginning. Okay, Ami, the spirit gate is further on this way. Even we Ponkles hardly go far that far in the forest. Nobody knows when it was made or even who made it. They say that opening the gate only invites disaster. But I doubt we'll find any curiosity seekers out there. After all, no one but the chief of the Ponkle clan can open it. Plus, the road to the forest depths is like a maze. It's even more confusing than the part Kai guided us through. But if you're really bent on going through there, I'll be your guide. What's it going to be, Ami? Yes, I will go. Okay, let's run full speed to the spirit gate. Now, stick close to me, Furball. I don't want you getting lost. Okay, we are timed in this area just like the last one. However, we don't have to worry about Kai. Well, we didn't have to worry in the first place, but we don't have to, we don't have to see her. Which, I don't know, maybe, maybe I'd like to see her. It actually was nice having her because she was my guide to, for uh, how much I should jump in those gates. But anyway, we have Isun gu uh, guiding us now. And this area is actually uh, a legit, a legitimate area. Whoa, no, 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 not you again. Not you again. Thank you. Thank you and good night. Give me your food and go away. Oh, I'm really hoping that I can get enough praise to, um to fill my Astro Pouch, not because I need it, but because it would be nice for all this food I'm getting. It's free food. Okay, there's a time thing here. Another cursed sapling. Uh, but yeah, what was I saying? I have no idea. Oh yeah, yeah, it's a legitimate... It's a legitimate area. And, um, you can actually get stray beads here. So I will be doing that. Uh, this is... This is more of the same. More of the same. You die. Actually, you know what? Self-challenge. Let's see if I can actually keep a clear head about this and stay positive. Because I have a feeling that it's it's entirely my attitude that's making me mess up on these things. I get it wrong once or twice. And then, for the rest of the time, I'm just like, you know, my my attitude is becoming a self-fulfilling prophecy. I'm saying, oh, this, this is so hard. So, I'm treating it like it's hard. And I'm, ki I'm setting myself to fail. So... Let's not do that. Let's let's stay frosty. Stay really frosty. Okay, there's this tree. We'll throw something at me. Come on. Okay. Thank you. And bloom. I don't know. Maybe you guys like like to see me frustrated. I guess that that's a that could work too. So yeah, this is actually a a cloned area. Um. Oh, and there's a stray bead. Yay. Yeah, I, I don't even need the guide to find these things. Um. But yeah, this is a cloned area of of Yosh Pet, where we were the episode before last, um, except that this is the inner Yosh Pet. It's not it's not Yosh Pet, it's the innermost Yosh Pet, so it's it's harder. So yeah, there's more challenge to it. It's just all around, all in all just harder. Nothing more to say to it than that. I almost forgot to bloom you. Thank you for blooming first time, sir. Aye! Well, uh, that wasn't that wasn't me be ch being bad. That was that was something that I could not avoid. Uh, I should probably actually pay attention to stray beads. Oh, and th that's another thing. These uh, the walls of 
of, what are they, vines, will move now. So they're a little bit harder to gauge what jumps you need to get through. Come on. Thank you. Now, after I bloom this guy, I should I should look something up. I should look up how much praise I need for um, the upgrade. Because once I get the upgrade, you know, all my praise will just go towards money, which is much appreciated. So, I'm guessing 320? No, 350. Okay, so we have a little bit more praise left before we can start doing that. Okay, let's jump up here. Wow, I made it, and I landed right into the, one of these things. And we have some Namahajes. But I have my awesome new powered-up weapon. It's so beautiful. With that, you can just die like a dog. I don't really get that phrase. Like, what is die like a... Wow. Oh, my word. Why am I doing it? Do you guys see that? I shot... I just shot my sub-rosary once, and it... It killed him, and he had like maybe a a fifth of his health. Wow, he had a fifth of his health left. And my and my rosary killed him. I need to use that more often. Snap. But yeah, was I saying anything before that happened? I don't know. But what I do know is that there's this, <laughs> there's these, this. Okay, let's do that. Now. I guess I could bring this up because I, I have a feeling maybe one or two of you have been expecting it because I kind of said that it was going to happen. Um, a pals play. Oh no, we're also at the end of this area, so I'll have to stop talking for a moment. Okay, uh, a pals play. Also, it looks like there's there's actually no way to get through that. Um, a pals play for this this let's play. Um, I'm fairly certain. Like, I, it's not something that I don't think I'm that I'm going to be waffling on. I don't think. Um, I don't think there's going to be another pals play for for Okami. Simply put, oh wow, you, good good job, man. You almost got me there. Um, simply put, I feel like the LP, it's not coming too close. I can't say that. <laughs> Can you bloom? Can you bloom? Wow, you actually went through a cycle. Um, the LP's not coming too close, but usually when I do pals play. The only exception of which is the first pals play. I usually like to not have story elements for for the co-op, um, just because they can tend to be a bit distracting. Um, well, we can be a bit. Wow, they can be a bit distracting um, for both our commentary and our commentary distracting the viewer from them. And also, it having story in an episode where the focus should be a guest doesn't always work because. You know, like I said, the focus is the guest, and if there's a story, then that's that's just valuable time that's being taken away from them. And so I don't think that there's going to be another pals play for this for Okami. Um, sorry to say, but it I just don't think it's going to be happening. Okay, so let's go up here, jump over that, and we have this segment again. It is again, because, like, we've been here before, technically. And, whoa, my word, there are a ton of saplings. There are so many saplings. I almost forgot to buy their groceries. Hit me. Thank you. I, oh, that was, that was so mean. Oh, my word. I tried to blue... I, I tried to defeat the evil one. I chopped the good one in two. Oh, I kind of feel bad about that. And we're also out of time for the for the timer, so can we get a can we get oh my word can we get a three for one deal? Can we get a three for one deal in the ten seconds? Can we get a three for one deal? Two? Yes, we got two. Can we get one more? Yes, yes, that was awesome. Okay, now time's up, and I'm back with five minutes to spare on the ice. I tried to, I was going to make a rhyme, but I can't think of anything that rhymes with ice, which is really sad, because that's like the easiest rhyme in the book. Bice? Lice? Lice does not work. Kice? Wood lice? That could work, if I had an appropriate setup, but I do not have one. Come on. Thank you. And you, sir! Are you open for some, pra some praise? Or not praise, are you open to giving me praise? Actually, I have a theory. If I zoom out, and then bloom you... Will that work better? What is what is the key to blooming these? Th is that I don't know what the key is to blooming these things. And you know, 68 episodes in, I should probably find out. Come on, man, ice! No, don't ice me. I will ice you back if you ice me. I I promise on the, the throne of 
Grayskull that I have the power. By the power of Grayskull, I have the power. And I believe this is a stray bead, because it is. At the end of the second section, on the wrong path, you get a stray bead. Because I am Toby. Toby makes a triumphant return. He has actually lived on through Matarasu. Uh, snowballs. Okay, that's fine. Just, just stay positive. Just stay positive. Just stay positive. What do we do? We stay positive, which is weird because I'm not the biggest fan of that movie. It's not that I'm the biggest fan of that movie. It, I'm, I'm talking about Nemo, by the way. It's just that when I was young, younger, <laughs> when I was younger. Thank you. When I was younger, I had this thing where I wanted to grow up too fast, and so. Any, um, like, any kid's movie, like Nemo, or, I don't know, what's another example of a kid's movie, um, <laughs> um, Toy Story, that's a good one, um, any example of a kid's movie, any kid's movie, I just kind of, I turned my nose up at, because I, you know, I, I was that kid who thought he was, no, 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 I thought I was too old for it, and, um, here years later I'm quoting that putting making my little kid self cry in his grave I put <laughs> I put my little kid self in a grave by the way I just want to make sure that you are privy to that that uh, morsel of information and I can't I can't show it to you on the map but it's it's on the right seg on the right segment where you come to the catwalk, you cannot possibly miss it. Just take the right segment and you will f get the stray bead. You can't miss it at all. Ugh. Okay, now that I've been sharing morsels of information with you about my childhood and how I tried to grow up too quickly, and then ended up... Ow. And then ended up years later just playing video games because that's all I had to do. Actually, technically though, this channel is... For me, not for you guys, because you don't, you know, you don't get to see the, see the background part of it. But this channel for me is about one part. No, th that's uh, yeah, one part, um, one part video games and three parts editing. And I, I lump photoshopping into that because I do a ton, a lot of, you know, the text boxes for the, these episodes. That takes a long time. Um, but yeah, it's it's mostly editing. That's. It, Wait, we got a bunch of praise there. How much? How much? How much? How? Ah, uh, we got a lot of praise. I think we got 20, and I believe that's because we bloomed all of these saplings. I could be wrong. I will be disproven by another sapling in three, two, one. No. Okay. Yeah. I think we got 20 praise there. Which you know what that means? You guys know what it means because I'm going to the menu. It means we can upgrade this for the last time. Oh wait. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. I forgot there there's one more upgrade. JK. And um just because I I don't I want to go through this game saying I never used Golden Peach, I'm not going to uh use Golden Peach. So there, game. Take that. I'm not using one of my I, I think it's up to 16 Golden Peaches now. I'm not going to use them. I'm not going to sell them. I'm going to grab the Sun Fragment because that means there's only one left. But, um, yeah, I'm not going to use a, a Golden Peach. Nope. Um, I'm going to fill it up the Honorful Way, because I, <laughs> I haven't actually filled up one of my Astral Pouches since the first uh, handful of episodes. And here we are. This is it. That big old hunk of wall right there is the Spirit Gate. Huh. Interesting. The architecture of it looks... It looks like something we've seen before. It looks like the Ark of Yamato. And it looks like some of, some of the other architecture we've seen in Nippon. It's very out of place. Remember Ka uh, Kaguya? Her ship looked a lot like this. The Spirit Gate. Nobody knows when it was built, or even who built it. All we know is that it's been here since the Age of Myths. And that's a whole lot older than even old, Ma old man Ishaku. 
The Pongal Chief's clan has served as its gatekeepers for generations. It's said that needlessly opening this gate only invites disaster. But I have no idea what kind of disaster it might be. I'm gonna force this gate open. After all, we have no other choice if Lika's on the other side of this thing. Stand back, Ami. Great! Aether! I should have done that louder. Great! Aether! There we go. Okay. Sorry for ruining this cutscene, by the way. Boy, old man Ishaku would have my head if he knew what I just did. Let's just keep this between you and me, Ami. Just look at that light. Looks way too pretty to be anything that invites misfortune. What are you looking at, Furball? The door's open, ain't it? Oh my word! Oh my word! Oh my word! Oh, he scared me. <laughs> I have not been that scared since something that I can't, a project that I cannot tell you guys out about because it's not out yet. Do you have the guts to go on through it? If you turn back now after all I've been through, I swear I'll... Hmm? Okie. Okay. Oh my word, you scared me. <laughs> oh. Oh. Sorry, guys, but my heart just... <laughs> I didn't notice it. I was looking at the Matarasu, and then I just saw it out of the corner of my eye, and it freaked me out. Like I said, though, it reminded me of, pro of a project that, um... <clears throat> you guys won't be seeing for a little bit. Just a little bit. Don't worry. It'll be out soon. If I get around to editing it. A Matarasu, wasn't, was it? I thought I'd come and join the fun. I've never seen the spirit gate open before. They say opening it only invites disaster. What are you doing here anyway? And how in the world did you get this far into Yoshpet to begin with? Ah, you must be talking about this forest power to confuse beasts. Indeed, we half-man, half-beast Oina should feel the effects. But, it seems, the sacred sword Kutane has kept me safe. This is no surprise, as the sword itself has driven me here. The wall of ice shall shatter and open the way to the heavens, when Kutane gl glows silver. As the prophecy foretells, when Kutane gl starts glowing, it is a sign that the demons shall soon fall. What's more, some say that even the heavens will be within reach. What on earth is that supposed to mean? <laughs> anyway, it hasn't even begun to glow. It, I must not have slain nearly enough monsters yet. If that's the case, this spirit gate should be just the thing. I'll give those monsters of misfortune a taste of Kutane. Okay, wait. We have no idea what's on the other side of this thing. All we know is Lika somehow ended up going through it. I guarantee you're going to find more than you bargained for in that in there. <laughs> That's what I'm hoping for. For the sake of Kutane. No, wait, Ami. Maybe this isn't such a good idea. From here on out, guys, pay very close attention. Very close. Hmm. This doesn't look so bad. What was all that talk about the spirit gate and misfortune? Hey, this place looks familiar. Yeah, that's it. It looks just like Kamiki Village. Kamiki, 
You mean that tiny village in Shinshu Field? That's where the whole legend of Orochi began. I've never crossed the sea and set foot on Nippon before. The divine guidance of Kutane must have led me here. The monsters of this land shall now taste its cold steel. No, Oki, wait! What about Lika? <sighs> He's gone. Oh well. Anyway, this really is Kamiki Village, isn't it? But I'm getting a different vibe from here. Hmm? That's strange. Why is there a full moon again already? And control passes to us. It seems almost as if this is a different game. I, I can't really explain it, but... Something about this. It looks identical to when we first set foot in, in Nippon. In the beginning of the game. And yet, some things are different. I invite you guys to pay very, 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 very close attention to everything that goes on from here on out. It is unbelievable how good the story gets. So, let's go ahead and uh, end it here. Yeah, I, I, I'm doing this. I'm doing this. Thank you so much for watching. Next time in Okami, we will explore what appears to be Kamiki Village. I release new episodes of Okami Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Saturdays are long episodes. And if you like this episode, then uh, make a comment. If you didn't like this episode, then uh, make a comment telling me how I could make the next episode how, uh, so that you would like it. I will see you guys next time for another Paladin Plays Okami. Thank you.